Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you very much enjoyed your food. It's time for the Player of the Year Awards. And will you please welcome to the stage Mr. Ross Wilcox. <laughs> Ross, you're concerned your speech is too long, so we're just going to do a chat, yeah? Yeah, that's right. There's a few other lads who want to go off. Um, Marcus needs to see Shaz for some socks. Um, George Grayson needs to deliver some milk tray. And I think uh, Chefs and Paddy are well overdressed for Donny. Uh, just keep it nice and short. Alright, well then, simple question. Uh, this management stuff is pretty easy, isn't it? Um, it's down to having a good group. Um, it's down to having good staff around you, which I've got. Uh, fantastic staff, uh, the backing of the board uh, and the chairman, and obviously uh, great players, but not just great players, great people. I think that's been the key this season. Um, everybody's worked so hard for each other. Um, players have been disappointed. I've had to leave people out uh, in certain games, but what they've done, they responded the right way. Um, show good attitude, good application. When the times come again, when they're back in the team, um, they've been different class so it's been done as a group uh, it's been done together as a football club absolutely delighted for the club to, to move the club forward again after three difficult seasons and hopefully next year we can uh, be competitive in League One Brilliant. as I say after three, three bad seasons you see I've got a little bit of a tip all right um, <laughs> rolled in his eyes. <laughs> the manager called nil, two relegations. By a striker called Winnell, get promotion. You've been looking in the summer for a player called Jeff Scores a lot, right? I think there's one at Garford Town. That was a joke. <laughs> was it a joke? <laughs> Touche. But you see, when we bring that player in in the summer, you'll see who was right. <laughs> Let's go on with the awards then. And for to come and give out our Disabled Supporters Away Player of the Year Awards, Jerry Mahoney, will you come to the stage, please? Yeah. Yeah. Jerry, who's won this award? Tom Slocum. So what's our standard for you this year? Pretty average, to be fair. Expected a few more clean sheets and 24 is pretty embarrassing. Let's have a little bit muzzy and get stored out for next season. Um, it's great that people are obviously picking up individual awards and that's always the case, but again, we always work on the group. Um, he's got 10 players in front of him that um, also keep the ball out of the net. Um, I'm getting a bit boring with that, but it's the fact, it's, it is about the group, not just the 11, the full squad. Sam knows that as well. Um, but you also have to say he's made some fantastic saves this season. Yeah. Um, so so five times this season. Um, I was just looking back the other day, Sam, and just talking about. Um, you know, <laughs> um, small margins in every game, and you look back to the Fleetwood game at home. Sam doesn't save the penalty, they beat us 1 0. Two points on them, a point off us, and it could be a different ball game. So, fantastic season for Sam. Absolutely delight for him. Well done. Yeah, I just really want to echo what Russ said, to be fair, it's, it's not just me that's there, the, the ten lads and, to be fair, the whole squad that's played all season have been fantastic and for us to bounce back at the first opportunity has been uh, fantastic and the lads that have come in have really settled in well and we've got a great group this year and 
hopefully we can move on next year and do the same thing. Sam Slope, can everyone? And now to award the Disabled Supporters Play of the Year Award, Sarah Mitchell, please. And the winner is? Sam Willow. Sam Willow. Yeah, Sam's had an amazing first season. Um, I say first season because it's probably his first season in professional football. Um, you know, playing the full season and uh, to have a return of, uh, of 23 goals in, in 46 league games is, is amazing. Um, again, it's about the team. It's about people providing chances for Sam, um, being creative. Uh, but it's also about Sam's finishing and he showed what he's about this season. Um, different types of goals. Headers, um, chips, um, full, full array of goals really this season. He's, he's got to be really pleased with his full season. Um, hopefully he can kick on next year. It's a different challenge, a tougher challenge. We all know that when you step up a league, it's, it's more difficult. But um, he's full of confidence at the moment. Um, he's had an outstanding season. Uh, delight for him. Well done, Sam. Sam, how's it been for you? Um, dream come true, really, I suppose. You know, couldn't have gone much better for my first year, like Russ says. Um, like, every, like Sam said, and like Russ said, it's, you know, it's a lot of my game with, uh, depends on service, and the lads have produced from all angles uh, this season. So, no, it's been great, and I've really enjoyed it. So, hopefully, take it into next year. Sam, we're not everyone. It's the Football Trust Sudi United Award, and to present that, Lee Turnbull. <laughs> Lee, who's won this award? Anyone whose name is Sam, apparently. <laughs> Fully deserved award, this goes to uh, Sam Slocum. Coming his gear that he cleaned the car with today. <laughs> well done, Sam. Sam, this is a joint award from Study United as well. Uh, the Study United gang are over there as well. Um, Sam does a lot for the local community. As you know, Sam's a local boy and his work uh, within the football club doesn't go unnoticed by us in the community scheme because um, whenever we ask, Sam always says yes. Recent things like a, a reading project at Parkwood School, working with Study United, he, he's always available and he always offers up his service. He's been coaching our futsal scholars, uh, which is uh, a project that we run. He's been involved in our NCS project. He fits in time to play in goal. Um, <laughs> Sam really is almost up for Lord Mayor of Scunthorpe. <laughs> I think that day will come, Sam. I, tell you, I can see Sam almost being like Barack Obama <laughs> in Bottesford. <laughs> so, congratulations to Barack of Bottesford. <laughs> charity game last week. I played left-back. Russ, did he tell you how good I was? Um, I know I must have missed you out. Say something about left-back in the dressing room. 
I, I had Cleveland Taylor and Nathan Stanton on me at one point. They didn't score. See, Cleveland Taylor swapped sides. It's probably because of me. I told Sam and he had a go at me for talking while the game was in play. But it, it wasn't like I was taking a selfie with fans or anything, was it? <laughs> Next award is the Youth Team Player of the Year Award, and to present that is Tony Dortz. And Tony, who's won this award? Before that, can I just get the rest of the uh, Youth Team staff to come up and, uh, and do this with me? So Paul, Andy and Rob, if you can just come up and... Can I just say these like, three lads have done a fantastic job this season, um, you know, running run the academy and, and working with me and I uh, just want to say thank you for your support fellas. So um, the youth team player of the year, the young player of the year this season um, goes to someone that's been sort of propelled into the spotlight uh, quite intensely. Uh, it's done very, very well. I guess you can all uh, agree with me that uh, Hakeem's done fantastically well this season. So, hats off. experience a lot and thanks for all. I'll just say something to you that we're having a group. Um, it's been an amazing uh, first season for the team. Obviously in the youth team at the start of the season he's now made 30 appearances for the first team which for a boy at 17 because I, I still have to call him a boy. Um, um, I think Akeem knows that, more to come physically and, and certainly more to come mentally regarding Akeem. He's, uh, but he's had an outstanding season. He deserves that award. Well done, Akeem. Thank you. 